This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Thursday, April the 4th, 2019. It's the feast day of St. Isidore of Seville in Spain. He's considered the last church father. He was born A.D. 556 and died in 636 at the age of 80 or so. He lived during the collapse of the West. The Western Roman Empire had fallen. The Visigoths had entered Spain. More and more Catholicism was retreating into castles and fortified monasteries, and the Dark Ages were approaching. But Isidore was having none of it. He was a brilliant man, sometimes called the last scholar of the ancient world. He was zealous and courageous and managed to convert a lot of Visigothic invaders who were firm practitioners of Arian Christianity, a heretical offshoot of Catholicism that believed that Jesus was not truly God. Isidore was present at the Council of Toledo and the Council of Seville. Think Vatican II, but much more local, one one small part of one nation. These councils had serious impact upon the religious and civil life of most of Spain for something like 800 years. Now as busy as he was with all of these things, Isidore still found time to write the Etymilogiae, an encyclopedia slash dictionary slash glossary of sorts, which assembled extracts of many of the ancient classical books that were so important to the ancient world that otherwise would not be known to modern history. And so he's not just a player in church scholarship, he's a major player in world history and classical scholarship as well. In 1997, Pope St. John Paul II named him patron saint of the internet. Moving forward about 1,100 years, today is the day in 1768 that Philip Astley, an English equestrian and inventor, staged the first modern circus in a field near Lambeth in London, not far from the modern Waterloo station. Astley would ride around in a circle doing equestrian tricks with his wife, Penny. There was sword play and saber fighting as well. The shows became popular very fast and spread to other fields and other yards around town. Two years later, he added acrobats and tightrope walkers and jugglers. This was also the moment that the circus clown was born to fill in pauses between staging acts. So if you have cholerophobia, you can blame it on Philip Astley. Today is the sad anniversary of that Thursday evening at the Lorraine Motel in 1968 when James Earl Ray shot and killed Martin Luther King Jr. The current bishop of the Diocese of Memphis, David Talley, was 17 at the time and living in Georgia. He later said that his life was changed in the moment that he heard the news of Dr. King's death. Today is the birthday in 1913 of Muddy Waters, the father of modern Chicago blues. He was born in the Mississippi Delta at Clarksdale, and he was playing guitar and harmonica by his 17th birthday and being influenced by the Delta blues of Sun House and Robert Johnson in particular. Blues guitar is based on a six-note blues scale and a driving rhythm. The use of a glass slide, maybe even a bottleneck, usually worn on the pinky finger, gives the tones an imprecise and earthy feel. Muddy Waters took his Delta Blues up to Chicago, where he added an electric guitar to the sound. The war ended in 1945, and the boys came home with a sense of optimism. In particular, the African-American community felt the time was right for civil rights and Waters was with them in his thinking and his music. A friend of Waters said there was quite a few people around singing the blues, but most of them was singing all sad blues. Muddy was giving his blues a little pep. He died in 1983 at the age of 70, but not before earning six Grammys, being inducted into the Blues Foundation Hall of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Catholic Daily Journal was supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.